In this chapter of the series, we are going to go through the whole process of designing a symbiotic style drivetrain. The frame will be made out of sheet metal and will be riveted together. It will have a six wheel tank drive that is connected to two speed transmissions. The wheels will run on dead axles and the wheels and transmissions will be connected using chain. On our website, we have a resources tab where there is a lot of information on drivetrain decisions and I recommend you going to look at those to understand the reasons behind our drivetrain. One of the first steps to designing the drivetrain is deciding on the size and speed of it. This will change from year to year. The speed of your robot will depend on your strategy and the size is going to depend on the rest of your robot frame. Traditionally, robots have had to be rectangular and lately have had to be under 112 inches in frame perimeter. This is except for 2015, which for the purpose of this video, I will assume they will be going back to the 2014 rules next year. The frame perimeter we are going to design is going to be 30 inches by 25.5 inches. The sides will be 30 and the front and back will be 25.5 inches wide. I will also try and create a top speed of between 10 and 15 feet per second, which is a relatively normal speed. The wheels will be 4 inches in diameter. In the next few videos, we will decide on gear ratios needed to accomplish these specs.